Well, you know it's a Brownstown that on the day the Cavaliers hired John Beeline, the big story was, will Odell Beckham show up for the Cleveland Browns OTA, that's Organized Team Activities, this week, which are voluntary. In fact, I had a, one reader ask me, well, why, you know, why is there such a deal about whether Beckham shows up, whether they're voluntary or not? And some of the earlier practices, I admit, first of all, there's nothing else to talk about with the Browns other than Odell Beckham because nothing's going on. And Browns fans are obsessed about any news. You'd like a new player to be there for the voluntary activities, but if he's not, he's not. Uh, an interesting question came in from another reader, asked me, what does Baker Mayfield have to do to avoid kind of a sophomore slump? And I like that, because while Mayfield had just about everything go right as a rookie year, sometimes guys do fall off. Um, and so a big thing there for Baker, I believe, is that you know, he's got to be in the film room even more than he was in the past. The good thing is the Browns have brought back Drew Stanton to help Baker Mayfield, because the defenses are going to try to take away different things from him and make his life harder. Now, kind of another fan uh, asked me this question, and he been around, he said, you know, this is the most excitement the Browns have had since, remember at the 2007 season, they were 10 and 6, and then the bottom fell out in 2008. And how do we know Baker Mayfield's not going to be another Derek Anderson? Well, the one thing that was strange about that year, I always call that the Haley's Comet year, Derek Anderson was on a practice squad in Baltimore, and then even when he played early with the, uh, with the Browns, he didn't show much, and then suddenly for about 14 of his games, he was hot, he hit those long passes, things came together for the team, but I just had a feeling of a fluke. Whereas Baker Mayfield, look, he's number one pick in the draft. You know, been successful everywhere he's gone. So that's a reason for hope. Finally, you know, it's fun, even though it's OTAs. All right, you're gonna see, hopefully you're gonna see Odell Beckham on the field with Jarvis Landry and Nick Chubb and all these guys getting together and we'll have to see, you know, how the defense goes. But, I get it, Browns fans. I know why you're starving for any news at this point because you have a feeling just about any news is going to be good news, and it's been a long time since you heard that with the Browns.